problem 2.15 or 3.48 for details please see the description below in this problem we have a pump in which the driving force for the fluid flow in is the pressure differential and the pipe operates by raising this pressure of a fluid by converting the mechanical shaft work into flow energy in a gasoline pump is measured to consume 3.8 kilowatts of electrical power when operated. If the pressure differential between the inlet and the outlet of the pump is measured to be 7 kilopascals and the changes of the velocity and elevation are negligible, we need to determine the maximum possible volume flow rate of the gasoline through the pump. We have a list of the known values and what we need to find. And for the assumptions, we're going to assume that the pump is running steadily and we're going to neglect the changes in potential and kinetic energy across the pump. To start the problem, we're going to start with an energy balance and we're going to write it in terms of rate of energy. Um, we're going to start with the rate of energy going into the system and minus the energy, the rate of energy leaving the system, and this is equal to the change of energy in the system as a function of time. Since we have a steady process, this value is going to be equal to zero. Therefore, the amount of rate of energy in is equal to the amount of energy leaving the system. The amount of energy going into the system is going to be equal to the electrical power going into the system, plus the rate of uh, change of the flow energy into the system. The amount of energy living is going to be the rate of flow energy leaving the system. So we could write this as amount of electrical work and the uh, rate of flow work is going to be simply the mass flow rate, the pressure at that particular point at the entrance and the specific volume at the entrance. The rate of uh, flow work leaving is going to be mass flow rate, the pressure at the exit, and the specific volume at the exit. If we recall the definition of mass flow rate, mass flow rate is simply going to be the density multiplied by the volume flow rate. Therefore, if we simply take the mass flow rate divided by the density, which is exactly the same thing as the mass flow rate uh, times the specific volume, that is going to be equal to the volume flow rate. We're going to replace these quantities in this equation, and then we have that the uh, electrical power plus the volume flow rate times pressure 1 is equal to volume flow rate um, pressure 2. Notice that we are going to assume that the specific volume of point 1 and volume point 2 are equal to each other since we have gasoline, it's a liquid, and we're going to consider it to be incompressible. Therefore, if we solve the equation for the volume flow rate, that is going to be equal to the electrical power divided by the differences of pressure, P2 minus P1. And if we now substitute the values that we have in the problem, this is equal to 3.8 kilowatts, and the differences of pressure is equal to 7 kilopascal. The ratio of these two values is going to give us 0.54. Now let's look at the units. We have kilo and kilo, they cancel each other, so now let's start with watts. A watt is equal to a joule per second and a pascal is a newton per meter square. A joule is equal to newton times meter per second. This is newton per meter square. Notice that Newton and Newton cancels. Meter square and meters become meter cubed and divided by a second, which is exactly the unit of volume flow rate that we need. Therefore, the solution of this problem is going to be simply 0.54 meter cubed per second.